The challenge for a teacher walking into a classroom is really to get the students to care about what I have to say or what we're about to learn today. You really are competing for the attention of your students from a lot of different variables. So my question is, how do I reach these kids? How do I break those barriers? No matter what subject you're teaching, we need to make it important to them. We need to make it meaningful to them. And so our job as teachers is to really find a way to pull them in and make that time with them really count. Inquiry-based learning gives me that tool that I need to take my students' energy channel it and get them focused on building a collaborative and productive learning environment. So what's unique about inquiry-based learning is that it's really not a lecture. I don't really like standing up and talking for 30 minutes and kids don't like sitting still on a desk and writing for 30 minutes. Inquiry-based learning lets them get their hands dirty. It lets them ask their own questions and come up with their own ideas. It really makes your classroom so much more exciting and so much more relevant to your students. The point of inquiry-based learning is allowing the students to be in charge of their own learning. I ask them questions, they ask me questions, they ask each other questions. It's all about the students making their own ideas, forming their own uh, conclusions about the content, and really communicating those ideas with each other. All we want as teachers is to see our students be comfortable and confident enough to implement the skills they take in my room into their everyday life. So as a teacher, one of the greatest experiences you can have is, is that light bulb going off for a kid. And you know, with inquiry, you really get to see that every single day at every stage of the lesson. So that's a really great feeling for a teacher. To me, that's really the testament of inquiry-based teaching and the power of inquiry-based learning.